Okay, in this video, we're going to continue uh, with our check-in application, and uh, we're going to basically finish the rest of the pages. And so we've created a template that looks like this, and when you look at it, it's uh, you've got all of the pages, but no content on any of the pages. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to uh, begin here by adding, this is the login register screen. Uh, let's see, we basically just need a label at the top, which will give us our return status. Put return status here. Uh, it's the result of a login. And I'm going to label. And I think I'm going to center it. And I think I'll make it a little smaller. Uh, maybe 14. Okay, next I'm going to add a text input for entering in the login name or registration name, whichever. So it'll be the login name. I don't need to have text there, but I am going to use a placeholder. And let's see, I'm going to name it txt login name. And I'm going to put another one here. And this is going to be login password. And I'm going to call that txt password. And I'm going to uh, make it a type. Password. And then I'm going to add a grid or a couple of buttons at the bottom side by side. One row. And uh, I'm going to, this is going to be a login button. And this will be a register button. So for this one, on the first one, I'm going to say, Login, and I'm going to name it BTN Login, and this one is going to say Register, and the name of that one will be BTN Register. And so I'm going to save this and click Test. See what it looks like. Oh, that looks nice. Name, password, and then a login button and a register button. So, uh, why don't we uh, try to get this to work? So, um, let's see. The We have to make a data source, and so let's click data, and we're going to add a service. And it'll be the, let's start with the login service. Add. And let's name this login data source. And let's see, the before send mapping. Let's expand this and uh, expand this. And we need to map the login name. To this login name and the login password to this login password. Save and return. And the success mapping is the, let's see, the, we want to do. Uh, let's see, we need to set the return status, which is going to be status, is going to go here. And uh, we need to, we're going to put something, we're going to also access storage here. Let me close this. 
and we need the registration ID that comes back to go into this storage location. We need the registration name to go here and the status code to go here. Okay, and let's save and return. And uh, the last thing we need to do is to connect up the event handler to the event of clicking the login button. So let's click here and click up on events and the select action will be invoke service at the bottom here and this is the service we want. Click save and now let's test it. Save test Let's see, Rich Alberson. Password and and it returns password correct. Okay, so it looks like that part works. Now, if the password is correct, I think uh, then we want to navigate to the check-in page. So let's go back here and let's add a second uh let's see uh we if we add it as a second action for clicking the login button uh it's there's no guarantee if we do it this way that the login data source will complete before the second action starts and the status code has got to be there so Let's go back to the data source and let's add the action after the the action of navigating uh, as JavaScript or as uh, an action after this. So let's do add and um, uh, we're going to add some JavaScript. So let's uh, run JavaScript and what that's going to be is If get storage um, what is the name of the storage variable? It's uh, status code. So if get storage status code. is equal to 1, then if we look back at the assignment, you see I give you a hint here. On the login register page, at the, a successful login or registration, add JavaScript to navigate to the check-in page uh, after. So if the status code is 1. So it is. this is the function or method if you want to do navigation if you want to navigate I'm going to copy this in uh, JavaScript so uh, let's, if the get storage status code is equal to 1 then I want to do this uh, go to the check-in screen and that's what I named it uh, slide transition uh, okay so slide transition so I'm going to click save now and so that's going to be a second uh, uh, function to execute after uh, the mapping is complete. So now let's save this and see what this does. I log in. Ah, look, it navigates to the check-in page. Okay, and this works returning here. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, we need to uh, let's. Why don't we work on the check-in page here, uh, and uh, and then after that we can come back and do the registration page. So let's um, let's do the check-in screen, 
And for the check-in screen, we need to, let's close the panel. We need to, at the top, I'm going to put a label, which is going to be the full name of the person who's checked in. And I'm going to name that LBL full name. And that's going to be, I'm going to make this, I don't know, 26, bold. I'm going to center it. And, uh, okay, uh, next I'm going to have a button that says, get my location. And I'm going to name this button BTN Get My Location. And then after that, I'm going to uh, have a place for the location to be deposited. And it's going to be a single row. Three columns. Okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, inside the first cell, I'm going to make this. First, let me make this 25%. And I'll make this last one 25%. And I'm going to drag an input text box into the first one, and one into the second one, and one into the third one. And the first one, I'm going to make it, uh, this is where the house number is going to return. And uh, I'm going to uh, name it, name it uh, TXT, TXT House NO. And I'm going to make it mini version. And this one I'm going to, Take this away, and this is what this where the street name is going to go. And I'm going to make it mini version, and I'm going to name it TXT Street. And the last one is where the zip code is going to go. And I'll put zip. You can actually put the island there if you're entering it in manually. TXT Zip. Okay, uh, and the last thing is, uh, no, not the last, here, I'm going to put another button down here, and this is going to say, check me in. And uh, then I'm going to name this BTN check in. And then I'm going to want to have some kind of response at the bottom. So let's make this a little bit smaller and perhaps center it. And I think that'll be fine. So let's uh, we gotta let's see if we can get this page to work now. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's uh, set set up the onload. Uh, let's see. Uh, if, you, if you look back at the assignment, I'll give you some more hints here. Uh, first of all, set the onload event on every page to load the username. Uh, so this is the first page actually that we have that. I didn't put that. I didn't put that on the login screen. Uh, and uh, we're gonna check here. If the registration ID is blank or zero, if so, we are going to navigate back to the login page. So we don't want to reach this check-in page unless we've logged in or just recently registered. And uh, so, and then so we're going to have to create a get geolocation data source, and uh, and then after that we're going to call a get address data source. And that should uh, actually 
Uh, and then after that, we have to set up the uh, make the check-in button. Work. Uh, so it returns a response. Okay, so let's uh, first of all the the let's pop up events here and uh, let's start with uh, this is the check-in screen. So the load event. The first action I think will be to uh, I think we should run some JavaScript. Run some JavaScript where if uh, get storage uh, let's see what is the name check in reg ID so uh, if get storage check in oops, reg ID is I'm going to just say less than one less than one then uh, I'm going to use that navigate again let me just copy that this thing except for I'm going to navigate back to the I'm going to navigate back to the login register screen. And I guess I'll just leave that. Maybe I, yeah, I'll just leave that. So this way, if the, if the, if the person hasn't logged in, this is not going to be filled in. And this isn't filled in, then you want to go back to the login screen. Okay, and the second, so next, uh, I want to fill in uh, this, fill in the name from the storage variable. So that's an action is set property. Uh, let's see, how does this. Set uh, label full name. From a storage variable, which is check in name and save. OK. Uh, now let's. Uh, Let's see if that works. Save, test, and Rich Alverson and the login. Ah, it comes here. Uh, I can't, I guess I. I haven't set up log out yet, have I? I guess I have. Yes, okay, so I've logged out, and now when I try to go straight to the check in page, it just returns me back to the login page. Okay, so that works.